Welcome to Royo on Tour with a new short episode from Maastricht. We went to Maastricht for a weekend just because it's in the Netherlands and it's about two hours drive from our home. Maastricht is a city with a very different vibe than the cities in our neighborhood. Plus the fact that in the south of the country it's often nicer weather than in the rest of the country. We park at the P&W park and walk just outside the center and walk in about 15 minutes to the center. For a price of just under 150,000 guilders, a price which you could only buy a garage box now, was this defense wall built. We walk along a military defense line built in 1777, a current Dumoulin line. Now it's a park where you can walk. We walk through some picturesque streets and arrive at the center of the town. The most famous square in Maastricht, the Vrijthof. The square is most famous for its many monuments, including the church twin, unique to the Netherlands, that still exists. And a range of cultural facilities, a series of yearly events and many café terraces. The Vrijthof's history is unique in the Netherlands due to its continuous use since the Roman times. One of the reasons to go to Maastricht was the photo exposition in the photo museum in a series of photos of 100, 100 year old inhabitants. Most photos are in black and white. Hubert Tan photographed 100 people aged 100 years. In doing so, he asked four life questions about happiness, fears, life lessons and future dreams. This gave shape to the project Tomorrow Will Be Better bundled in a book of the same name. At the end of the exposition is a short video with highlights of some interviews. After visiting this photo museum, we walked through the city, enjoying the impressive buildings, the beautiful view lines, lovely streets, gorgeous monumental buildings and remarkable churches. It's remarkable that here in the south of the Netherlands, Catholicism is so visible. Here a church with the worship of Mary. Carnaval is also celebrated here in abundance. And unlike in Brabant, the feast in Maastricht mainly takes place outdoors. Sometimes we see a nice coffee house and then make grateful use of their services. Maastricht is divided in two parts separated by the river Maas. The Maas is a busy river with commercial shipping and tour boats as also yachts. This is the Sint-Servaasbrug, an original 13th century stone arch bridge over the river Maas in Maastricht. The bridge is named after a 4th century bishop of Maastricht. This Sint Servaas bridge is considered the oldest bridge in the Netherlands and an icon of the city of Maastricht. 
the structure is a national monument. Here we visit a pepernoten store. In the Netherlands we eat pepernoten with Sinterklaas in November and December. But usual not in March. So this store caught our attention. And yes, even in March pepernoten taste delicious. On our way back to the parking there is a beautiful drip candle in a shop window. We spent the night just across the border in Belgium, because the camper spot near Maastricht was already full. It's only a 10 minute drive. And we prepare ourselves for another second day in Maastricht. After a good night's sleep, we go for a morning walk into the village where we spent the night. Today we park on the other side of the river Mass and walk past this monument memorial to the Second World War. The beauty of a weekend in March in Maastricht is that there are already trees to blossom. There are all kinds of defense structures from the 16th century on the river quay. If you see so many bikes together, you can assume that students live here. Yes, in Maastricht also live more than 20,000 students. When you have seen more videos of us, you know that I always enjoy looking at the windows of patisserie shops. A beautiful monumental building of an old tavern that says the inscription of this building. And when you are in another city, it's also kind of fun to look in a store you would never go to otherwise. Maastricht also has several defense walls from former times. When a city grew, it was time to make new outer walls. Here we walk over an old now inner wall. You can see some old cannons here on the left.
The Hellport is a former city gate in Maastricht. The gate is part of Maastricht's first city wall. The gate dates back to 1229, making it the oldest surviving city gate in the Netherlands. A restoration of the historic city wall cost more than 6 million euros. Part of the wall suddenly collapsed four years ago. At this time of the day, it was very crowded in Maastricht, therefore we did not film much. On our way back, we passed a shop window with old T-Forge. Again, we spent the night just across the border with Belgium. The next morning, it turned out to be a nature reserve with a lovely castle. The underside of the trees on the waterfront are protected with an iron netting that's supposed to work against the beavers. Sadly, we did not see any beaver. With this last view over the nature reserve, we end this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. And we look forward to seeing you again in our next episode.